Hey guys, it's Ozzy Reptiles here. Now ignore uh, what I look like and stuff. I literally just woke up. Uh, my parents called me. Uh, they've gone grocery shopping and whatnot, so they just wanted to let me know. Uh, it is 10 o'clock. I had to sleep in. But I've just come up and to turn on the heat lights to come find mum giving birth. And there's actually two babies in the log hide. Um, that's awesome. Look. You just can't see it. Uh, because I can't flip the camera around, it's a bit crap, so I'm going to go grab my iPad and uh, film with that. So, yeah, let's go. Alright, guys, so I don't want to disturb her too much, but here's Mum. Uh, I'm not sure how many she still has in there, but uh, if you have a look in here, there's two little blue tongues. They seem... <laughs> yeah, even just by the camera moving, they seem like they're going to attack the crap out of me. Good job, Mama. I'm proud of you, and... Uh, yeah, I'll let you pop out the other ones if there are any more inside of you. So yeah, that was... So I come up, as I said, I literally just woke up. I come up, turning all the lights on, and I see Mama sitting there. And I thought she was going to take a giant turd, right? And the next second I look, and there's just a little baby chilling on top of the log right there. So I'm like, oh, wow, that's awesome. So obviously my first instinct was to come get you guys so you guys can have a look. So yeah, two little babies so far. And, uh... I'll finish the video off uh, after she pops out the rest if there are more coming. So I'll let you guys know. So yeah, that's exciting. Okay guys, so at the moment here we officially have four little babies. There's one right here, sorry about the filming. One right there, one there, and then there are two back here. She's still pushing out some babies, so I don't know what the total will be. I'm hoping around the 8 to 10 mark, so um, I mean, but you'd never count the chickens before they hatch, but uh, let's hopefully get around the aim and uh, see how everything goes. Okay guys, this isn't the final amount, but at the moment I do have four little healthy babies in here. And uh, they're actually not aggressive, which honestly I did not see coming. I thought they'd be like, super scary. Now obviously these guys, uh, they look like normals, but they aren't necessarily normals. Uh, they could be potentially het albino, and they could also be potentially het reduced pattern. And uh, I don't know, I think this is my favourite one so far. I haven't really had a good look. They've literally just popped out. But this one seems to have, like, I don't know, a slight pattern disappearing. So maybe he's a head reduced pattern. Uh, where'd the other ones go? They, they disappear so fast. Oh, there's one. <laughs> Find ya. So yeah, guys. Um, also, still going to update you on the final total number. But uh, for now, she's still going. In fact, I'm pretty sure she's popping out one now. And, uh, yeah, so four so far. And uh, let's go see if she's popping out one. Ah, just as I thought. So here is another one just freshly popped out. And as you can see, it's it's eating its uh, membrane thing. So she's got her legs up, so I feel like there's still maybe more coming. Yep, she's definitely going to pop out another one. So hopefully, hopefully uh, they all come out healthy and hopefully no um, stillborns or whatnot. But uh, for now, everything seems to be good. Uh, we'll let this one sit in here for a bit and dry off under the heat light and whatnot. But uh, yeah, and then we'll separate them and uh, yeah, should be good. So I'll keep you guys updated. There we go, that's two new fresh ones. That one just sneezed up a bunch of the yolk. I apologise for the recording, obviously it's through the screen. So yeah, I wonder how many more will pop out. So that is two new, so that puts us at a total of six at the moment. And uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. There's number seven popping out. It's holding its leg up a bit awkwardly, so hopefully it puts it down and hasn't got a broken leg. And it's, Oh, that one's quite yellow. That one's got some nice yellows to it. Oh, that's like trippy. And it might come along and eat its brother. <laughs> okay, I'm going to have to take those two out now. And uh, as you can see right there, that's three. And I've got four in the tub, so we have seven little babies so far. And she's looking a bit deflated, so I'm not sure how many more will be in her, but, uh, I don't know, let's, let's find out.
Okay guys, so I don't know if you can hear me over the rain, we're having a, m a massive rainstorm right now. But uh, I've got this in my room now. Obviously Kink the Skink has been moved. But uh, this is now here, which is good because it gives me better access to him. I couldn't really get to him before and ignore all the hay. But uh, basically this is the tub system. Obviously it's not complete, I've still got to finish it off with uh, the liner stuff there. Uh, this stuff, the laminate or whatever. And I've also got to undo the shelves, unscrew them and uh, put down heat cord with a router. I've got to route out the little divot thing for the heat cord to go in. So it's not completely finished. But uh, they obviously came a bit sooner than I was expecting. So I wasn't quite re uh, prepared to so definitely have everything done. But as you can see, my rack system holds 14 babies. And we did manage to get exactly 14. If you have a look at Mama now, she is super skinny. Looks like she, if you didn't know she just gave birth, you'd kind of think that I'm not feeding my lizards properly and she's close to uh, death. Like she's super skinny. Um, yeah. But obviously that's not the case. She's just popped out 14 little babies. So uh, I'll go through, take out each tub and put it on this chair and let's have a look at them. So we'll start, we'll start at the bottom. I've got to go get little mini water bowls and food dishes um, so that I can actually feed these guys. But here is one of them. They look a lot darker in the photo, it's because I'm using my iPad once again, but uh, that's one of them. In fact, this might take too long, so let's just go along and pull out the tub a little bit and do that that way. So here is this one. Now I'm pretty sure this is the one. So this one here, yeah, this one here is a bit odd. So they all came out perfectly healthy, nothing wrong. Um, no missing limbs or whatnot, but this one here does have a little neck bulge sort of thing as you can see there, so if that isn't affecting its health, like it's still healthy, I'll probably just sell that one for a, uh, for cheaper obviously because of it's got a little bit of a defect, not quite sure what happened there, but that's, that's what happens. Uh, here's one, so again I'm not going to just open the lid on them all, but this one's quite nice, it looks a lot like the dad. This one here, I think this one is my favorite. Was this it? I don't remember. <laughs> but there's one that's like got a fair bit of yellow in it, and yeah, so they're really cute. Obviously, they're really small. And uh, yeah. So, as I said with the heat cord, obviously, back here, I'm gonna have like a little strip of heat cord going across there to keep these guys warm. Here's another one. Now, uh, as you guys may know, I've got a het black female that looks like she could be gravid. But uh, of course I'm not too sure and uh, she may not be. Uh, this one's going under the paper. And yeah, I apologise I'm not going through and getting them all out. Otherwise this would take a long time. But I'm uh, just showing you guys that each tub is full and uh, does in fact have a baby in it. So I got 14 little baby bubs. Now with these babies, they look like normals, but they could possibly be het albinos and they could be het reduced pattern. Okay, for you guys that don't know too much about the genetics, basically there's a couple morphs in Australia, or actually a fair few. So there's the hypermelanistic, which are the black ones, which I do have. There's also albina, white northern, anery, uh, there's a super pinstripe blo blotched blue tongue, which is pretty much a patternless blotched blue tongue. Obviously, there's the reduced pattern uh, easterns, which I do have a het for, in which these ones are some of them, 50, about 50% 50 of potentially het for reduced pattern as well. And then there's, uh, did I say white northerns? White northerns. And then there's combination animals of all of those. So you've got your lava, which is an orange blue tongue, which is a albino bred to the black, and that makes the orange blue tongue, which is a lava or the hypermelanistic albino, and so on. There's uh, a lot of combinations out there and whatnot. But basically, with these guys here, so a head albino bred to a head reduced pattern. Obviously, combining those two aren't going to give me albinos or reduced patterns, because only each animal's only carrying a single copy of each gene. If I was to breed two head albinos together, I would get albinos from that litter. But because it's only one head albino, the babies just come out head albino as well. Only a portion, though. About 50% of these will be head albino, and about 50% of them will be a het reduced pattern. And then there's also a possibility of them being het for both. 
but obviously with them not being visual traits I can't really pick out like well I mean not at all I can't pick out which ones carry the genes and which ones don't so that's why they're going to be labeled as possible double heads or just possible heads I'm not quite sure but uh, potentially you could be buying a normal blue tongue a normal or you could be buying a head albino or a head reduced pattern or a double head so they're a little bit more on the more pricey range rather than just a normal blue tongue of course because of the possibilities that uh, you could make something nice out of them so I can't just sell them for super cheap but I can't sell them for super expensive so I'll probably keep back a few maybe two or three babies myself and I grow them up and breed either the parents back to them or whatnot to try and prove out their genetics and see what they carry but uh, yeah thank you guys for watching I ended up with 14 14 babies as I said the mother's looking really skinny and uh, yeah all the babies look good besides that one has like that little neck lump thing but thank you guys for watching and as always I'll catch you guys in the next one leave a like if you enjoyed the video leave a comment down below on what you guys want to see next and uh, if you guys may be interested in purchasing a baby blue tongue, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.